Today I'm gonna teach you how to do an easy beach wave at home. To do a beach wave, we need is like for your hair it has to be 100% dry first. And for the tools, we need a flat iron. And then usually I'll recommend it heat up to around 300 according to your hair type. And then we need a paddle brush and also a comb and a couple clips. And for products I'm gonna use in for today is the heat relief. So we're gonna spray the heat relief before we're using the hot tools. Just go even spray on your hair. This is gonna prevent your hair damaging from the hot tools. And after that, I'm gonna comb it through, make sure it's even on the hair. So for the next is for section. So usually for my hair, I like to section up to different quadrants. So first we're gonna do from the bottom and you can clip the hair away from the top. And then you can section your hair from the middle wait, to the front. And then you can use your comb to comb it through, make sure it's smooth. And then we got to grab different sections out and then preheat your blow, um, flat iron. So you just grab it and then turn it. And we want to left out a little bit for the ends to make it straight like that. So we're going to just leave that curls away. Do not comb it out right away because like the curl is still really hot so while you comb it out it's gonna become straight then we grab the next sections and you can go like a different directions from the last one to make it more, looks more natural it's the same go lay out the ends and if you figure out the ends is not that straight you can hold it and then just like go smooth it out a little bit put it away And the last one for the side. Same for the side. So I like to use my finger to follow the waves, to twist it a little bit, make sure it's really shaped. And that's gonna be really helpful after you come it out. That's the first section curls. We're still gonna leave it. And then we're gonna do the second section. This is a little like, trick to switching over the curls and string here, just in case we don't know which part your curl already and which part is still straight. Still, we're gonna comb it out first to make it smooth. And repeat what I did before. And if you feel like the hair is slipping now from the flat iron, you can hold it from the ends. Just make sure it's inside of the flat iron. And 
can make sure you want to hold your hair tight but not too tight because you want it to give the movement and the one you're up to the face for the last section usually I recommend to away from your face so it just goes away from your face and slowly put it down And for the last section, I do like to part in the middle, so I will just section it out first. So after you've done everything, what you're gonna do before we come out is using the hairspray. So you can just go even on the hair. So we can use our fingers to comb it out, or if you have some combs, which is like a white tooth comb, that gonna helps a lot. So for myself, usually I like to just go a little crazy because that makes your volume up and also make your hair look like more natural. And also you can just put your head down and also go from the roots, comb it out with your fingers. And then you can section the way you want because I start from the middle and then I can section the little side that I have the natural volume come out. And then at the end, after you feel like it's enough to comb it out and you spray one more time for hairspray to set it on your style. And here we go. Really easy home style between. Subscribe for more tutorials and see the products below.